So I want to go over this corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. That thing. Um, we talked about it a couple of times, but um, on the worksheet that we were doing, I don't think it was really getting through to you. So let's let's go over this again. Okay. Um, let me just draw a couple of triangles here. Um, let's say, let me give you some give you some information. So let's say BC and DC are congruent. And AC and EC are congruent. And your job is to prove that segment AB is congruent to segment ED. Got it? So let's think about how we could do this. First of all, do you think they are congruent? Yeah. All right, I got some head nods and a yeah. All right. H how? How do you think? For the side angle, side theorem because Wait. I heard an angle and we haven't talked about an angle. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, our vertical angles are congruent, aren't they? So, you said side angle side side angle side. So, everyone sees side angle side now? Okay. So those two triangles are congruent by side angle side. That's what that's what he's saying, right? Okay. So we know our two triangles are congruent. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Uh, how do I have to name it? EDC. Did Breezy change your thing for me so I don't have to worry about it, Zach? Okay. So we know that these two are congruent by our side angle side. <clears throat> now, once you say the two triangles are congruent, what do you know about all of their corresponding parts? Not just the side, the angle, and the side that we were talking about before. What do you know, Logan? That all corresponding sides are congruent. Oh, there we go. That all corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So after you say that these two triangles are congruent by side angle side, then you can say uh, your re your statement would be okay. AB segment AB is congruent to segment ED, and your reason is the CPCTC corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, which you are welcome to write out completely or abbreviate, whichever. I'm guessing you'll abbreviate. What do you think? Okay. Does that help on the one on the worksheet we did? Okay, I don't think we are quite getting how that, that thing worked. Uh, do we hand in the worksheet? No. You have questions still? Yeah. Well, alrighty then. Should we look at 5-4? Let's look at 5-4 worksheet first. You have any questions on that one? Number five. Okay, so I think this is this is exactly what I was just talking about. So that's uh, that's a good one to talk about. So we have figure. I can draw this. Okay, I'm going to start marking it up with with what we're given. So we're given that angle CBD is congruent to angle CDB. <laughs> C. B, D, so this one, 
and then CDB, this one, those two. And I think they're marked in the picture too, right? Okay. And then angle BAE. <coughs> is congruent to angle DEA. So let's find them. Uh, BAE. So that's, that's this whole angle here. Not one of the individual ones, but the whole thing. And then this whole angle over here. And then what we're supposed to prove is that AD, segment AD, that's this one here in blue, that I'm going to make kind of bluish, is congruent to this one, which I'm going to make kind of bluish. Okay, so let's think about those two. Are they corresponding parts of congruent triangles? It appears so. What's that? It appears, it appears they are. Agreed? Okay, which triangles? Now this, this is kind of a trick. So I think, how do we want to look at this? I'm not sure if we can do this directly. I'm not sure if they're in two triangles that we can prove are directly or if we're going to have to do something and then and then go from there. Um, however, didn't we talk about isosceles triangles? Do you guys see some isosceles triangles here? Okay. That was like a hand grenade question. I had to throw it out and wait for 10 seconds. But we got it. See that one on top? What do you guys think about segment CB and segment CD? Okay, so they're uh, the legs of an isosceles triangle, right? Okay, so they have to be congruent. And also, what do you think about this segment AC? See the, the whole segment? And segment CE? That whole segment. Okay, so let's see here. CB is congruent to CD <coughs> and also AC is congruent to EC and both of these well, we'll, we'll let's make a box around those I'm just gonna say that I saw these triangle legs yeah, yep. Okay. Um, so, the converse of the base angle theorem. Did you guys get that? The base angle theorem says if the two sides are congruent, then the base angle and the converse. Okay. Okay, so converse of base angle theorem. So, how does that help us? Well, if we look at. If you look at. <clears throat> I don't really want to do this. I'm trying to I'm trying to kind of look at this triangle right there. See that one? And this triangle right here and say they're congruent somehow. Yeah. I, I think we have side angle side there. Do you see? Okay, so look at this triangle, right? We got uh, CB. Isn't it congruent to CD, the short leg of that triangle? Right, okay. Uh, we've got CE, the long leg of the triangle here. And then we've got CA. We, j we already said they're congruent, aren't, aren't they? And then what about this angle that they share up here? Isn't angle C congruent to angle C? I'll take your dead silence as a yes. Okay. So, I think with the information that we were given what we are able to deduce with the isosceles triangle thing and saying that angle C is congruent to itself, I would say between those three things that we have got triangle ACE congruent to triangle 
What? Yeah, yeah. Well, A, C, D, that triangle. Should I make it green? This green triangle right here. Congruent to this triangle down here, which would be E, C, B. So this triangle down here. By? Okay, by side and era. I better make it, I'm doing a flow proof, I better do it right. Side angle side. Which leads me to segment AD is congruent to segment ED, EB. And what's our reason? Everyone say it together. Ready? Well, let's say what it actually means. Co wait, wait. Corresponding, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are? Congruent. Let's try that again. That was horrible. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that's how we know that those two segments are congruent. Now, are there other ways to do this? Could we have proven, you know, different triangles were congruent here and then say it said that these are corresponding parts of those triangles? Absolutely. There's more than one way to go about this, okay? But that's just the one that I saw. Okay, so go over to 5.5. <clears throat> You have questions there. We all good? Five. Number five? Four? four. four? Oh, four. Uh, prove the two triangles are congruent. I see a segment addition postulate going on there. Okay, so first of all, I guess, you know, I don't know what is up with these black Sharpies. They are no bueno. Okay. Are, are you writing out the entire given and proof statement and drawing the picture before you try to do the proof? Uh, if you're not, it's not going to get you very far. And you're not going to get any points on the test. So that's our given statement. You better draw the figure. better mark what's congruent in it, what we're given. So we're given those two are congruent. We're given these two. Ah, I, me I messed up. That should only be two marks. I'm going to make this one three and I'm going to make this one two. So we're given two sides of the two triangles are congruent. They don't share an angle or anything like that. They don't share a common side, but is BD congruent to EC? Yeah. Sure it is. Okay, so let, let's talk about how we know that. So, I'm going to have my box here with all my given stuff, all this stuff, and I'm going to say given. And then I'm going to say that the measure of BC is equal to the measure of, what do they call it, ED? ED definition of congruent segments. Now, <clears throat> the reason I wanted to change this to equal to is I want to add uh, DC to both of these. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say DC, that's 
the measure of this segment plus CD is going to equal this one, ED, plus, and I'll name, I, I won't name it DC, I'll go the same way again, CD. So all this is, is the addition property of a quality. So I'm, add, I'm adding the same amount to each measure, right? Okay. And then, with that, I'm going to come, I'm going to come right here. I'm going to say that BD, its measure is equal to EC's measure. And that's what we call the segment addition postulate. Right? Yeah. Or I, I suppose we could even call it, yeah, that would work. And then that leads me to segment BD is congruent to segment EC. And that again is the definition of congruent segments. So now what do I have? With, with, with the given information and that statement right there, what do we have guys? We have side, side, side. So now we have triangle ABD is congruent to triangle FEC. And side, side, side's our reason. Okay. Make sure your name's on it before you hand it in, please. Mm -hmm.